Yo, what's going on guys? Sport Dragster TV here, back at it again. And today guys, we're back here on Snow Runner. Now for today's Snow video, guys, I'm gonna be going ahead and covering and you know just going over customizing, testing out a couple of new console mods that just gone ahead and been released somewhere around 30 minutes ago. Alright guys. So we were here on Snow Runner on console here on my Xbox One, like always. And uh, yeah, so we just want to go ahead and got ourselves a new shipment of a few uh, console mods. I'm not too sure how many we got because uh, as I was looking through, since obviously it may take a few hours before all the new mods get uh, between the first and the second page, uh, I mean, they're, they're going to be pretty popular. Uh, I was going through and looking for a few. Obviously, the XJ Sport 88 is one of the newest ones uh, that were released today. And uh, going on through, I'm going to look, through, uh, look for a few more as well. I believe... Uh, this one, the Fleet Star 2 or 2070A W77 Military, is a new vehicle, but I cannot confirm that for sure. Uh, but I do not recall seeing that uh, somewhere around yesterday or something like that. We have the uh, Twice Twin Steer. I know that's a new vehicle. Uh, let's see what else do we got. Uh, we also have the Pacific P12 uh, W Blue Line. All right, that's a new mod. We also have uh, we have a couple new things here. We also have the Pacific P16 Blue Line X. Uh, that's a new mod. Um, all these, I believe we have some new maps as well. Uh, I believe this is one. Uh, I don't think this is a new uh, mod, but it might be. And here at page 6, we also have the B8053. We're going to go and check that out. Very curious to what it is. I know this is a new mod for sure. And yeah, so it should be pretty cool to go ahead and check that out. And then uh, there might be a few more in these next few pages um, that we might be able to see when they get up uh, to, you know, page one, two, three, somewhere around the, there. So that means they'll get pretty popular. Let's go to the mod browser. Uh, let's go back here and let's see. Okay, so I have this finished installing. Uh, so just went ahead and subscribe to it and I'm enabling it. Let's go ahead. So uh, pretty much the two vehicles I'm going to try out here today. Let's go ahead and try out uh, for sure the XJ Sport 88. So we're going to test out that vehicle here today, doing a full customization and test on the, uh, where's the map? Maybe it's on page three? Nope. Page four? Yep. On the Stadium Super Truck map, we're going to go ahead and do some timed runs on, uh, let's see, the drag strip, uh, going through one, two, three mud runs, and then, let's see, we're also going to go through rock crawling. So we're going to try out a few different things uh, on that map. All right, do some timed runs for it. And then also, where's that other vehicle? The B8053, going to go ahead and enable that, and those should be the two vehicles we're going to go ahead and test out here today. Now, I'm sure there are many more new mods, but I went ahead and just looked over a few that, you know, I didn't see recently, because I'm not too sure with this new patch and update. And also, Phase 3 is either coming today or tomorrow. All right, guys, the update for me has not quite yet been uh, officially released. All right, so... Uh, for me, it's not out quite yet, but possibly later today when it does come out, I if it does come out today, I will be uh, sure to make a quick video on that here today, going over it all. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, hopping right into load game, loading up our stadium super truck map. Catch you guys as soon as I'm loaded in to get in some of these uh, insane tests on these new vehicles. Should be pretty fun, pretty cool. If you guys do end up finding this video entertaining, uh, please do drop a fat like or just help me out. And if you guys are interested in any of my new daily content here on the channel, guys, please do make sure to uh, subscribe and hit that bell and never miss a new video from me. Alright, and now, uh, I'll catch you guys as soon as I'm loaded up. Alrighty guys, as you guys can see, I've just gone ahead and load Ryan right up here to the Stadium Super Truck map. We're going to go and hop right on into the truck store without wasting any time. going to go ahead and locate ourselves the, let's find the first truck over here. So it's right here, the XJ Sport 88. Here's the first vehicle, and uh, where's that second one? I forgot the second one. It is the BTRGAZ. All right, guys, so that is the other vehicle here. Going to go ahead and buy that one first, and then the XJ Sport 88. All right, purchase and deploy. Let's go ahead and start off with the XJ Sport 88. All right. And then, oh, so that's that's a better look at that new vehicle. All right, pretty cool. By the way, guys, uh, Phase 3 is planning on coming out uh, here in about a few hours, I believe. So it is coming out here today. All right, so I'm straight into the customization of this new XJ Sport 88. Going to go ahead and hop right into the engine. We only have one engine customization, one gearbox, race, suspension. All right, we have lots of tires here. I'm going to go ahead and run. Wait, let's uh, take a little bit of a look here. Uh, I'm kind of digging these tires, 79 inch 38 OS6s, I'm gonna go and run these. Uh, we have lots for winches, 
uh, I would normally run in a high power scout, uh, and that's it, what I am going to run. Alright, going to go and run that. I can have a spare wheel if I'd like, I'm going to do that. Engageable diff lock, tall front facing snorkel, and trunk repair supplies. And then what's for the roof rack? Uh, this item requires another item to be installed, I don't know what that would be. Alright, miscellaneous. Axle protect. I'm not too sure I'm going to run any of the ma miscellaneous visuals. Uh, what about the rooftop? Alright. Trunk repair supplies. Now we can buy these. Okay. Let's see here. Roof fog lights. I'm going to go and run that. Er, you know what? Never mind. I'm going to run trunk repair supplies with some more different fog lights there. What well, rims? Might as well run these rims because why not? And now let's go into the frame. And right, roof rack. There we go. Alright, now into the color. We don't have like a certain color for it, but this red right off the bat is uh, kind of catching my eye here. And uh, this black is apparently just the normal blue. Uh, the stock blue. Alright, uh, gonna go and run red on it. Alright, just gonna go and run red. And uh, now let's go ahead and hop right into now that we're done customizing. We're gonna go ahead and do. Let's see, we're gonna do mud run first, then drag race then rock crawling, then we'll move on to the other vehicle and do the other three as well. Alright, so I've just gone ahead and gotten the stopwatch pulled up. Uh, so we make sure where it's an, it's an all-wheel drive. It has a five gear gearbox. See here, since we only had one engine option, that's the stock engine. We also have the stock gearbox and only one suspension. Uh, we're kind of, I mean, we're kind of weighed down. I probably should have uh, kept weight in uh, consideration because you know, we're timing everything, um, but you know, we're putting it to the test, I mean, because when you're using this, like, for a mission or anything, because a lot of people might use this vehicle for uh, trying to complete missions and stuff like that, and uh, contracts in their normal uh, main saves, in their normal campaign, you know, a lot of people are going to just put, uh, you know, a spare wheel on the back and repair supplies, there's going to be a lot of weight on this truck, alright? But yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start about right here. Uh, let's see how these tires hold up. A bit curious. All right, have the stopwatch pulled up, and in three, two, one, and we are off. All right, right off the bat, I'm not too sure. Oh my gosh, let's see if we're faster in low plus. I don't think we're making it very far. Let's just let's just uh, recover real quick. Let's go into customize and let's take off. Uh, everything here. We do not want a spare wheel. So now it's just a pretty bare truck. Once again, three, two, one, and we are off and through the mud and automatic. Uh, seems still pretty slow to me. Yeah, I don't think we're, I mean, we might be making just a bit more progress, just a bit quicker. However, not too sure. I'm not gonna say anything yet. Yeah, we're already 30 seconds in. Let's go ahead and recover. And with with still just a bare frame, like you know, bare body with nothing on it, um, no supplies or spare wheels or anything like that. I think we're gonna go ahead and do a quick little drag run. All right, I don't think we're making it very far in the mud, but that just goes to show you guys, even with stuff on the uh, body of it and the body without stuff on it. All right, it's just you're probably not gonna get the best times and best uh, performance when going through mud. All right, we're gonna see how it does on the drag strip for speed and then moving on right to rock crawling. All right, guys, you setting that there, taking off the handbrake. Oh, we should probably do it in. Should we do it in all-wheel drive? Just gonna do it in all wheel drive, alright? Because I find on a lot of these vehicles, the launch can uh, actually be improved, obviously, since uh, when on all wheel drive, alright? Alright, so now here we go again. 3, 2, 1, and we're off. Okay, so far so good. And as I mentioned, this has five gears, as you guys can see down there. Fourth gear. We're making a uh, decent time. Definitely no record holder here. But it's it's something we've already passed uh, my first top my top two best times solid 30 second run with the old XJ Sport 88 gonna go ahead and recover that and get right to rock crawling all the way over here so I'll catch you guys as I get there alrighty guys so moving on to rock crawling here uh, once again line off the e brake three two one and we are off. Alright, another thing I noticed guys as I was driving, um, a thing I actually really like about this vehicle, uh, probably just, it has something to do with the tires and suspension I believe, um, you know, you can just pretty much just throw it around, drift it around, and uh, you won't flip it, 
All right, it's super hard to flip the thing. Now, I know I'll probably jinx myself on my way up here. Oh, we made it past the rocks. All right, that was a good 28 second run there. Let's see, make it through that little bit of mud. Had little struggles, but that's all right. Now, let's just see how we'll take these, uh, I mean, I was going to call them jumps, but we're not really jumping. We're kind of just cruising on over them, so little bumps uh, when it comes to this thing. Now, we might jump here. No, nope, not really. All right. Uh, continuing some good speed. All right, so we made it past the rocks in 28 seconds, I believe. So, oh, okay. Let's not, let's not lose control here. Let's see how we can make it right here. Okay, I didn't even drive up correctly. All right, uh, clock is still ticking. Uh, we have a minute or 10 seconds down so far. All right, let's see. Can we drive up it? Oh, I don't think we're getting up that. All right, let's see. So that was a minute. Tw that was a minute ten, pretty much. That's as far as we made it. And that is the XJ Sport 88. I know we didn't do much and get that many times. It wouldn't even make it, uh, you know, ten feet into the mud in a whole 30 seconds uh, in the first mud pit. Now it may do me something with the tires, but uh, I don't know. It looked pretty beefy to me when I was looking at them. Uh, let's see, what was the time? It was about a solid 30 second run, I believe, down the drag strip, and then uh, just going over the rocks. I just I just keep going. I, I'm only focusing on the time uh, when I pass over the rocks when I'm doing these things, uh, but I also just keep going just to see how far the vehicle will make it. And I normally either make it past, I mean, I normally get the vehicle up the ramps and then over uh, either one log. My record holder is the frog side by side and i made it over the second log all right so that is as far as uh that's that's what i try to beat every time and the record holder is actually uh for the drag strip i don't really know what the mud run record holder is i believe it is the 110 if i'm not wrong uh however the yeet mobile uh t TC's 2020 Yeet Mobile, the mud truck version, whatever one is the mud truck, that's the crawler, so the mud truck is uh, one of these down here, uh, but yeah, the mud truck is the record holder with a whole solid 21 second drag strip run, uh, so yeah, those are all the times that I try to beat every time in this video, so I uh, so I let you guys know, like, the good times, uh, the, gold, the good record holders for the stadium super truck map here on the channel. Alright, so now moving on to... Let's see, this other truck all the way back up here, the BTR GAZ, alright, now this thing should, uh, depending on speeds and whatnot, should get pretty decent times uh, going through the mud, alright, have few engine options, love to see it, alright, get to buy this one, the uh, MXRP, uh, let's see, we have balanced high range and off-road for our gearboxes, oh, I don't know if Okay, this one has better top speed. You know what? Off-road is way better for the mud, all right? But this one has the advantage of mud tires and whatnot. I'm looking to see how this big mud rig, I'm going to call it, compared to, you know, the other vehicle I just tested out. I'm going to run high range just to test out the times and how good the top speed really is down the drag strip, all right? I'm going to do suspension here. Here's stock. We have active, it lowers it, but, you know, it's a bit softer. Alright, now custom suspension, I mean, oh my, okay, it looked like there was hardly anything there, but yep, there's a, there's suspension there. Alright, so, it's not just a floating body of the truck. We're going to go and run uh, the tallest suspension. Oh, okay, so we do have one set of mud tires, however, the off-road tires look more like stinking mud tires than actual mud tires. Uh, yeah, and then we have studded for the chain. Uh, we're gonna go and run, uh, the 55-inch off-road tires here. Alright. For the winch, uh, I can run really any of them. I don't really care. I'm not using the winch. Engageable div flock. And we're gonna have, let's see, since even at the, just the top of the truck, I think we're gonna do, uh, wedge cap. Mm, or maybe flat cap, flat cap. Alright. Uh, visuals here. What do we got? Trunk green, trunk red, trailer hitch back there, and the, oh, that's the scout trailer hitch, and then we just have the trailer hitch. Uh, just gonna keep, you know, the scout trailer hitch. Uh, we're gonna have be beacon right, beacon left, and 
Yeah, okay, so we couldn't run all three. It didn't look like we could, but... All right, just going to run beacon left and right. Uh, color, what do we got? Oh, that, that looks sweet. We're definitely running that. All right, now we got a camoed out mud rig. We're going to go ahead and uh, get some times on it. All right, so the time to beat is... Well, actually, you know, the length to beat for this one, because we're just uh, putting it up against... It'd be great if I could beat some record... There's some channel records here, uh, like being the, the 110 truck. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to beat the last truck I just tested out because uh, I'm going mod vehicle mod, uh, versus newest mod vehicle and stuff like that. So, uh, the length to beat, since the first vehicle couldn't even make it 10 feet into the mud, uh, is to just try to beat uh, the first mud pit, which I'm sure it could pretty easily, but we're still going to do a timed run on it just, just to see because you never know. Uh, so, yeah, 3, 2, 1, and we're off. Okay. Oh, so far so good. Easy, easy. Oh my gosh, we might get this. I believe for just Mud Pit one, uh, I th think nine seconds is the record. That was twelve second run. Oh, oh, whoops! I accidentally messed that up, but that's alright. Oh wow, we're we're cutting through it. Normally, or somewhere around right here, I'd have to put it in low plus. Uh, okay, and we only have low gear too. All right, and this is with the uh, what is it? High range. Oh my gosh, uh, this is crazy. Let's let's just throw it in low real quick, see if we're cutting any quicker. Not really. Um, oh my gosh, we might have the first ever mud run. Oh, this mud rig is awesome. We're, we're cutting right through the mud in insane times. I normally get somewhere around a minute 30 seconds every run. Doesn't matter what vehicle, either a minute 30 seconds or uh, longer. This is crazy. All right, let's go ahead and see. All right, that was a solid one minute run. That is crazy. All right, minute run. That's awesome. All right, so that is the mud run in this incredible mud rig. I forgot all the letter names. Uh, the uh, B T R G A Z. Gonna go and recover that. Take it down the drag strip here. Since that is the mud run, now let's do the drag strip. Seems like uh, since apparently this has a higher top speed. Uh, not too sure, uh, but that's just with the uh, high range um, gearbox I decided I'd put on it. Um, and so far, my theory is correct. It's still cut through the mud just fine. And now we're going to go ahead and see how it holds up down the drag strip. All right. Reset that amazing one minute run straight through the mud. And we didn't have to use low gear at all or low plus or anything like that because it doesn't even have low plus because I'm using a high range. Uh, gearbox has five gears just like the other one. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out here. And left e-brake. Three, two, one, and we are off. All right, we are 12 seconds in, and already in max gear. All right, five out of five gear. Uh, yeah, we're. This isn't gonna be a record holder, that's for sure. Okay, and that was a that was a decent, you know, average run, 33 second run. Oh my gosh, this thing just cut straight through the mud. Normally you get stuck. Like, instantly, I'm sure if I really try, like, yeah, I could get out of this easily in this thing. But normally I just have to instantly recover because I'm just sitting there spinning my tires. Uh, that's crazy. All right, so that is that for the BTRGAZ uh, for the drag race and the mud run. So far, getting some pretty decent times. Not really for the drag strip run, but for the mud run, I'm still pretty impressed. All right, especially that I didn't have to use... Uh, low gear and we're in a high runner or whatever. I forgot what the gearbox is called high high something All right, and uh, high range. That's what I think it was called. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna have to back up here in a second uh, Now we're gonna move on to the rock crawling run. So like right here. We set that 33 second run pretty decent uh, Left e-brake three two one and we're off All right, I forgot the time Oh man, I need to really write this stuff down. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna uh, let's see here. I I'm already getting stuck on some rocks. That's all right though. Okay, let's see. I should have remembered the time for the last vehicle because that got over the rocks pretty decently. Well, I think somewhere around 28 second run. All right, let's see. And let's see. So that was a solid uh, 35 second run right over the rocks. Now let's just see uh, for distance here. I'm sure I can make it all over this stuff pretty quickly, pretty easily. Um, however, 
okay, we're still making it. I'm not sure, and I'm sure this vehicle is wide enough for me to make it up the ramps pretty easily. And then uh, it's just a matter of seeing how far we can make it. So far, that was a pretty smooth ride. Now, once we go ahead and line up pretty close. Oh, yeah, easy peasy. We can make it up and over. Oh, my gosh, so far we beat a record. No way. This is the vehicle to hold that record? Oh, my gosh. All right. That is awesome. I've never made it this far in my life in this entire map, so that's pretty crazy. All right, let's just see how much farther we can go. Oh, there's more uh, rocks. All right. I have never made it past the second log uh, in that um, run before. I, I'll, if you guys are uh, continuous watchers of the channel, uh, you guys may know uh, whenever I show these videos, uh, Whenever I showcase new modded vehicles on console, I rarely ever make it uh, past the log. So I'm actually very impressed on this vehicle. And the way it's just cutting through all these um, rocks here. Man, that's crazy, guys. All right, so far, so good. Oh my gosh, we actually may have made it here in just a second. Let's see. And we barely damaged, maybe just suspension at most, just a little bit. Don't flip it. And we made it. All right, that was a two minute, 20 second run through all that. So this uh, BRT, or sorry, this BTR GAZ, insane vehicle, 10 out of 10, love it. Definitely tops the XJ Sport 88 uh, for this competition here today. Both great vehicles, 10 out of 10 on both. Um, however, the XJ Sport, just my personal opinion, uh, may need to work on its mudding performance, may need uh, a set of mud tires, stuff like that, you know? Uh, don't really know, but it didn't have much customization, but we put on uh, what we could, tried it out, had some pretty decent times on both vehicles, especially the BTR, GAZ, uh, very impressed with both. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video and testing out the new console mods. Here later today, definitely going to go ahead and uh, check out uh, Phase 3 for me when it releases. And yes, it should be a fun video or live stream, whatever I choose to do. So, um, so either way, if you guys are interested in any of those videos or live streams, stay tuned. All right. And now, once again, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you have an amazing rest, guys, day or night. And with that, catch you guys very, very soon in the next one.